Indeed, police are asking for the public's help to solve this mystery, the shooting death of the 20-year-old man here yesterday on the 101 freeway in Sherman Oaks. It happened after 8 in the morning, and even though traffic was lighter on the Sunday morning, there were people around, but so far no witnesses have come forward. But indeed, what police have learned is that something terrible did happen in this young man's life just the day before he was shot. The mystery of who killed 20-year-old Marlon Gordillo Sical on the 101 freeway in Sherman Oaks yesterday took a new turn when LAPD detectives discovered that a tragedy in the young man's life occurred only the day before. When we contacted the family, uh, we did learn that uh, the victim's uh, girlfriend apparently had committed suicide uh, the day prior to this incident on Saturday. Gordillo Sical died at UCLA Medical Center yesterday after he was found behind the wheel of his crashed car with a bullet wound in his head. Investigators say the 20-year-old South Los Angeles resident was shot around 8.15 yesterday morning while driving eastbound on the 101 near Van Nuys Boulevard. He crashed into the sound wall on the right shoulder, then careened across all eastbound lanes and hit the center divider. Other drivers called 911, but none waited for police. No criminal history, nothing that indicates uh, any reason for this to have occurred. Gang affiliation? No indication of any gang affiliation. Road rage? I don't know. That's why we're asking for the community's help. We don't know what happened in this case. Another thing aggravating detectives is that Caltrans has a traffic monitoring camera right on the 101 that looks exactly at yesterday's shooting and crash scene. But the cameras are for observation and traffic monitoring only. Caltrans does not record what those cameras see. Live in Sherman Oaks, Mark Coogan, KKL 9 News, back to you.